ఓం శాంతి హౌ వండర్ఫుల్ ఇట్ ఈస్ దాట్ బాబ్ దాదా క్రియేటెడ్ సచ్ ఏ వండర్ఫుల్ ఫ్యామిలీ global family and then found all of us family members and then created madhuban and gyan sarovar where we can meet it is all the wonderful ways of baba and about holy bab dada has already told us many new things very special which make every child of baba feel proud that who we are now 75 years are being celebrated almost over and baba says it is not the platinum jubilee of a few but it is the platinum jubilee of each and every brahmin because whatever baba gave in 75 years all of us have got it and are still getting it so therefore platinum jubilee i was wondering one day that because everything of baba is wonderful that baba said golden age is like gold and confluence age is like diamond so this is our diamond age then where from this platinum has come which is even above diamond which is that age you see i was wondering that baba says confluence is diamond age and this platinum has also come so then i thought and thought and thought what how i we can relate it so platinum being higher than diamond even so i thought that perhaps when the end of almost end of confluence comes when the journey is over when the time is to now open the gate at that time when we are in the body but experiencing angelic stage perhaps that is our platinum age and this is the age now that we are in the body and yet baba is telling us repeatedly be more and more in your angelic stage angel 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 light and might house so this is the period we are passing from and just as a clock tells time and clicks from one minute to the next minute every meeting of bab dada now and every murli tells us 
एकूरेट टाइम इन द वर्ल्ड ड्रामा एंड एज द क्लॉक टिक्स टू नेक्स्ट मिनट बाबा टेल्स अस वट टू डू नाउ पास्ट इज पास्ट एंड वट टू एक्सपेक्ट फर्दर सो वन मीनिंग ऑफ होली इज दैट लेट बाई गॉन बी बाई गॉन वट हैज हैपन्ड अप टू अलेवन फिफ्टीन ऑफ टूडे इज गॉन and that cannot help us in anything okay past is past means not only that our past births are past so many years are past but let us forget all the methods that we were using all the estimates that we were having we have to think now and ahead past is past so therefore this murli is now our guide and plan for future past is past in previous murlis baba said certain things and gave us a time period to do that whether we did it fully half in part that is gone just as you enter a new class in a college or school so the previous one is over forever whether we were first class in that second class or whatever is over now in the next class we are there and we have a fresh chance golden chance platinum chance to still do our best and bab dada says confluence is such a precious time every child can get from baba as much as we want whatever we want but only in confluence and yesterday the most important thing revised was the link of confluence with our future this can be taken in two ways one is the importance of time of confluence what is the difference between us in this in this bodies and advance party they are seniors what is the difference that we still can make effort once you are out of gone from this body our effort is over baba's help for confluence is over so so much is the importance and because in this body for how long we can be is absolutely not known individually it is not known otherwise also confluence is coming to end the list there is big all most of the dadis and others and others are up there here is small time is very delicate so therefore importance of this and importance baba has said of every second every thought because 
our thoughts make our life. Life is not in terms of days and hours and minutes, thoughts. So, each thought that we make now and onwards, how powerful it is, how correct it is, on that depends not our one birth, but in fact our entire fortune of that period of the drama, which is, can be really called the pure world. That period of drama, which Baba has yesterday said, can really be called the world of the holy people. And that entire depends on the holiness or purity of our thoughts now. So if one thought is wasted, so that will affect our entire fortune for that pure part of the world drama. And in earlier Murlis, Baba has even said that the pure part of our world drama also determines the second part of it, because up to three-fourths of the world drama, not only half, the fortune is made now and here. So that is one thing. The entire quality, the status is affected. And secondly, the period is also affected. Baba says, wasting one thought and equivalent time means losing about one year. So period is also affected. So the births can be got reduced and the status can also be got reduced or it can go up depending upon confluence. So now it is very delicate and most precious time coming. So we can call it is our platinum age period. Responsibility wise also and opportunity also. It is a platinum opportunity and what is the responsibility? Baba has again shifted the focus from self-transformation up to the last murli. Stress was on self-transformation that we do volcanic yoga so that our burden is reduced, that we finish our waste thoughts so that our speed can increase, our time can become, be used successfully. We should reduce the gap between our thought and our action. That was past. Now, looking ahead, Baba has said, now is the time to bring out our role as world benefactor, not self-benefactor, world benefactor. And in every murli, although the time becomes small, smaller, the climb becomes more steep, but there is always an equal power and opportunity given by Baba to every child, even the new ones, that they can take it very, do it very easily. 
provided they are very attentive. And that is, world making ourselves world benefactor will automatically take care of our status of self-benefactor. If we start working as a world benefactor, the self will be automatically covered. Earlier we are making effort on myself, myself, I improve myself, the service will improve, atmosphere will improve, my speed will improve. This, is, this was one role Baba was giving us up to the last Murli. But now it is an altogether different dimension. Be word benefactor and your self will be automatically taken care of. How come? Because to serve, to serve brings double blessing. To make our own effort gets help of Baba, always granted. But if we serve, then those whom we serve, their blessings come. Baba's blessings come because we are completing the work, task, and finishing the sorrow of the world, bringing the time closer. And when we are busy in serving, we automatically get served ourselves. So this is very important. And the next part is still more important to make us very attentive. And that is, only now, for the little period before the upheaval starts, only now is the time to world, to become world benefactor through serving through the mind. After that, even if we want to do that, we won't be able to do because the disturbance will be such that the mind will be naturally drawn towards that disturbance. So it means there is a shift from service through the mouth, oral service through the word, service to the speech, to service through the mind. And also, Bab Dada has given us certificate that you are doing good service through the speech, which means now this is going to be passed. There is one limitation of service through the speech and Baba doesn't want us to be in limited in any way. And that limitation is when you speak, only those who are present can listen. Supposing we are talking here, only this, we are only listening and speaking. So there is a limitation. You may be speaking very good, but limited people Dadi ji is giving uh, the best class for limited people. It can be printed, again sent to some people. But to be doubly holy, after all, in this drama, nothing comes without doing anything. Although we may do it only as an instrument, little, Baba gets it done. But nothing comes without any little being, becoming instrument in even a small way. And here, to be entitled to a world which is doubly holy, in which no other soul can come, we have an extra duty. And that extra duty is, through word of mouth, through our normal methods, through literature, through television, through whatever, we can do two things. 
we can give message to those souls who have to become Baba children. They will get more clear message, understand the knowledge. We can give general message to everyone, all human souls that Baba has come. That also we are doing, but over. How about those souls whom we cannot reach in by at all through all our methods? There are souls like that. How about elements of nature? Because Baba says, you are the only souls who are luckiest to have a pure body also. The entire system of birth of the bodies in paradise is altogether different from birth of the bodies in the second part. So that is what makes you double holy. So Baba yesterday very clearly again told us that in the whole cycle only the Brahmins, the deities are the souls who get holy body also, pure body and pure soul. And the world is, that is why the world is paradise. So that purification of the nature, who will do? Our word of mouth cannot do. So that will be done by our mind. Baba wants to everything be done by us. Because we are to live in the new world, Baba is only guide. Baba can instantly transform the whole nature into pure nature, but wants us to do. So through the service of mind, we can send vibrations to the souls whom we cannot reach. We can send vibrations to nature to purify. And that period during which we can do service of the mind is now. Service of the words and other methods will go on, but for the unlimited service of the souls, now through mind and of the nature now. In last Murli Baba has added another thing. And that is mercy on the suffering souls of today. They are also, Baba says, because they are my children, whatever they are, they are my children. So because they are Baba's children, they are our sisters and brothers also. Our sisters and our brothers are not only the BKs, but and so Baba says, you should have mercy for them also. Now if we have mercy for them, we hear and read. Earthquake comes, so many die. War is taking place. People are being tortured, whatever. All sad news. Suffering bodily. So how our mercy can be in practical? One thing is to read and have mercy, oh, very bad word, very wrong. The other thing is to give them some comfort. So this is additional duty Baba has given us, that we should spare time according to our daily life routine, just as we are sparing time for our traffic control and separating time for other things. Also, each Brahmin, taking mercy on the larger human family, sending them vibrations of peace. That is additional duty given now. So in this one, up to the next one, Baba says, the emphasis is on service through the mind. And then, service through the mind, Then, Baba has given us a, some 
idea about the future also. Baba says, when we start serving through the mind, automatically we, we are also served, transform our speech will also change. Because when we are giving more emphasis on speaking, mind becomes, goes to the background, is silent. But when we give more emphasis to silence, speech will automatically reduce. And then, our actions will also change. So now Baba says your face and features will do service in future. So perhaps that time is very close when speech will become less, there will be lesser chances to do that. Only service through the mind, service through the features and service through the actions. And Baba has said that the dadis, senior dadis, taught not through speaking as much as through actions. Mama also. Mama just was the example. If you are talking, standing and talking in normal language, normal tone, little sound, a group is standing, not me talking loud, normally talking. Just mama passes by, everybody's tone will become low, mama. Such was her effect because she was practicing silence. So this is also coming. So in this holy, Baba has told us, always Baba says three, four things which are the worshippers have followed and started a festival every year. So the first is colors. So Baba says, the best color is the color of purity, the color of divine virtues. And that automatically we get colored depending upon how much we remain connected with Baba. Because Baba gives that color. Company. Normally also, whosoever, in whosoever company you will remain, his habits will come to you, your habits will pass on to him. So the best company is of Baba. Baba says even any human Brahmin's company will be not affecting you as much as Baba because Father always gives inheritance. So in Brahmin company you may get some good qualities, some weaknesses also. But here perfect. So coloring more and more, now we have to be, to be fully holy, double holy, we have to remain in Baba's company more and more. Baba is guiding us. Baba is actually our we were found by Baba, all of us. We are being sustained by Baba. And Baba will take us to the destination. So actually there is no one else than Baba who is sustaining us, improving the soul. Still, we can deviate as soon as we become body conscious, that stops. Just as you put a switch off, the current stops coming. Switch on, the current is coming. So we have to be keeping our switch on so that our coloring is more deep and is full. All colors come on us, not one or two or less. Number two is, Baba says, holy also means putting color on others. We are not only to get colored, but we have also to see that others also get that color because we are not going alone in the golden age. Brahma Baba is still waiting, 
cannot go alone. So Baba says, do your duty, find your family members. And they will also start getting colored from Baba, but we have to connect. Nobody should be left. In the holy festival also, they search out people and try to color, only they do the, the bodies. Okay. Then, then in holy, they meet each other, they greet, people greet each other and put sweets in the mouths of each other. This is the festival. But here Baba, say, they say forget all your past, anything, any differences you forget. Today is holy and now we will become friends. They do it but only temporarily. On that day, they don't consider uh, status also. Say in a factory, the manager, the owner, the worker, everybody will greet today is holy. Body consciousness, they leave. But that is temporary on holy day. Here Baba says, as children, we are all children and we are not body conscious. We have no feeling of status, big, small, rich, poor. And we are all Baba's children and no body consciousness. So the greeting and the sweets, that is only physical. Here, we should always think good of others, speak sweet to others and have no ill will. That is, Baba teaches us every day. Then past is past. Because you cannot use previous uh, class books for qualifying for the next examination. So all of us have passed certain examinations. Still the study is going on, but for the next test, always what happens, whatever test we have passed, we have got experience, yes. But when the next test comes, we say, oh, I never thought, because every next test looks very difficult. When you pass it, then this further one looks very difficult. It is always there in study. As you climb also, as much as you have reached, it's okay. Then you look, oh, still so much. So for the next higher step, or for the next test, new books are required, new techniques are required. So past has to be given up, because supposing in the past, I could not cross a hurdle. If I keep the memory of that, oh, I could not cross that one, now will I be able to cross next one? So you will get disheartened. If you forget that was that, now is new, Baba is giving me new power. Baba is now helping me million times more. And Baba has told us that my help is always available to children. And Baba has also told us that each child wants to complete and each child makes some thought also, firm thought to reach that and no child likes the weakness because that is harmful, they know, but something happens. And then again, at some point, they become common and again some interference comes, some disturbance comes and they feel low, that look, in spite of my best intentions, in spite of my best efforts, in spite of my having a determination also, still it has happened. Baba, what should I do? So Baba has told that considering earlier some time was available for wasting, considering the very little time left in which we can make effort. And considering that individually to me anytime anything can happen. So if we resolve, 
like do or die, I have to do. And firmly we resolve and keep remembering that resolution again and again. And keep the mind busy because as soon as we leave the mind loose, then carelessness will come. And that carelessness will bring that old sanskar to attack. So if we keep busy, but not keep busy in wasting, but the mind does, mind is always busy, always busy, mind cannot stop. Unless you keep it busy in what you intend, it will revert and start getting busy into waste. Because it has to keep busy. So, we have to not to keep it busy in waste. And waste has to be removed. So, we have to give it an objective. And Baba has given us a very good objective that do service through the mind. Do service to the mind, taking mercy on the suffering souls. Do service to, through the mind for purifying the elements of nature. Do service through the mind for yourself also. And don't let it remain busy in waste. So waste will go. So now Baba wants that we should firmly resolve and repeat with ourselves every day not to waste, not to waste, not to waste. So if the waste goes out, then the courage will also come. Normally, carelessness comes by failure. If you clear, seriously think, when, how we become careless and lazy? So Baba says, a businessman, while he is getting customers and is earning money, will never be lazy. Because even if he is taking food and a customer comes, he says, okay, you are taking food, I will come later. He will say, no, 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 come, come, because he is earning. Supposing he is going, sh closing his shop, almost half closed, a customer comes, he says, okay, I will come tomorrow, you are closed. He says, no, 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 come, because he is earning. But if he is getting no customer and he is sitting idle and he will naturally become lazy, careless, he will start yawning, <sighs> sleeping. So, <coughs> any failure will make you lazy, will make you careless. And every success <coughs> will make you enthused and will keep you happy, awake. So, never allow a failure to come. And if it happens, then holy says past is past. Don't remember it. Because one thing is to lose by failing, the other is to lose further by repenting for the failure. Oh, why I did, I am so silly, I know ten times I have done this, but still it is not happening. You will further waste your time. So Baba says, learn the lesson, but forget. Don't let the failure come, because the failures lead to success. In Gyan, there is no failure. Do you think any Brahman really fails? Do you think any Brahman can re is really failing or falling? No. Why? Huh? Because this time itself is extending. When day is dawning, the night cannot be there. Even if you shut yourself in a closed room, close your eyes, the day is dawning. The time is such, the confluence is the only period in which we get a rising curve. Otherwise, right from day one of the golden age, 
day one. Very little, but it is falling curve. Okay? Every day I think I am the same. All of you think I am the same. But every day we are becoming one day older. Or no? You look at the mirror, you think I am the same. But the fact is, we are one day older. Even this hall, in which you had a class yesterday, but it is one day older. But we don't feel it. In the golden age, because nature is so perfect, you never feel at all. But still, it is getting older. Later on, you start feeling. Similarly, there is only one time in which you, you go up, you cannot go down. Supposing you are climbing a stair, you are in a lift, an escalator, and the, it is moving up. And you decide, standing on the escalator, to go two steps down. And you really go two steps down and catch the lower step. But still you are going up because the accelerator is going up. So no failure is possible. These are only our tests to help us understand thoroughly and uh, not uh, be deceived in future. That's all. Some may take only one chance, some may do it twice, but it happens. Because Baba is lifting the children, so we should never be disheartened. Baba says, never be disheartened if something you think has gone wrong. Nothing has gone wrong. The, the knowledge of drama means what? Practically speaking, what is the meaning of knowledge of drama? The knowledge of drama means to Brahmins, right is right, wrong is also right. Okay? Right is right, wrong is also right. Then will there be any scope for becoming disheartened? No. Baba is with us. And it is ascending curve. You may walk ten steps down, but the lift is going up. So you cannot help going up. Even if you fall, you are rising. So, you see, if, if a rocket is going and you are in that, and you fall and come little down, doesn't matter, rocket is going up. So therefore, never take small failures as failures. They are only giving us experience. And sometimes we think that effort is waste. I tried, nothing happened. I tried two times, nothing happened. So, I don't feel any difference. Now, suppose we have to break this wall. Okay? Theoretically, not, we are not going to break this harmony hall. But suppose we have to break this wall and it takes 40 hammers to break it. After only 40 hammering, big strong hammering 40 times it will break. What will be the result of first hammer? You, with full force you strike the wall, only your hand will shake, hammer will shake, wall will remain the same. And you think first one has gone. You can't do the 40th in the first one only. 40 you have to do, because first there will be vibrations. Further, further, only after 10, there will be a little dent, and the 40th it will break. So the first one is as important as the 40th one. Apparently, 40th one has broken it. But the beginning is done by the first one. So therefore, in this Gyan, no effort goes waste. That is also Baba's law. No effort goes waste. If we do not understand, Baba understands. 
you know the muslims have in their quran written try to when you pray try to see god okay they can't see naturally because they don't know but if you cannot see god remember god is seeing you that is very important ha eh? similarly we may feel that uh, well but baba says i am keeping a computer tap of every child all the time and baba keeps us guiding us from above so what more and baba say children are responding also to whatever help i give so there is no need to be disheartened we are baba will take us because baba has found us baba will take us where we have to be taken only if we are a little alert a little careful then we will not make baba to do more effort for us we will become helpers of baba and that will give you some credit that's all om shanti so any questions please you are welcome सिस्टर हेमलता जी आज आस वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन हाउ टू मेक अवर सर्विस थ्रू द माइंड इजी फर्स्ट थिंग इज 
that the Brahmins should never, never try to do anything with their own soul power only, whether it is self-service or public service. Because our soul power is limited and we have to do unlimited. So, Baba Almighty with all powers, we remember Baba, get connected with Baba and earlier we were saying, Baba, make me powerful, give me courage, give me power to tolerate. That was self-service. Now, Baba, your, with your power, I am an instrument and I am uh, keeping all the souls of the world in front of me and giving vibrations. The physical sun, the physical sun, has light and might, physical. And physical sun, wherever the physical sun naturally shines, all the germs, all the bacteria, all the dirt, all the smell evaporates. Similarly, myself, we are only stars. We get power from the sun. And when we send our vibrations, naturally, all the negative sanskars or, or wrong thoughts neg will finish. The more powerful, only we have to give, give attention, do more powerfully. So instead of saying, Baba, remove my negativity, Baba, remove my this weakness, this is a very powerful and positive approach that just as the face, one single sun, and it can finish all the dirt, filth, uh, germs, bacteria, whatever, from the world and help all the vegetation. You know, all the physical life depends on the sun. Similarly, we are souls and Baba, our Supreme Son, with Baba's light and might, our light and might will become full and we will be using it and not losing ours, but ours will shine also brightly. So that is the basic idea. Only we should, it automatically includes positive thoughts, powerful thoughts and uh, um, well-wisher of others because it is all benign and benevolent. Up to now the sun has also been benign and benevolent to the world. Sun has never killed people by its heat. Now it will do. Of course, later on because it has become angry. Otherwise, only fire can burn, not sun. So therefore, unless you concentrate it. Therefore, like that, we have to give benevolent vibrations to the souls and to everything and that is Mansa Seva. Okay? Om Shanti. और कुछ ठीक है so at least for two three minutes है finishing this class let us let us practice मंसा सेवा हाँ मर्सी के बारे में मर्सी कौन सी बाबा सेज यहाँ तो हम मर्सी on everybody remove the sorrows give happiness हाँ के बारे में भी कोई मैं समझा नहीं। We can expand mercy. Mercy, mercy, हाँ हाँ, yes, mercy. You see, the heart can be of two types. One is the heart that melts on seeing sorrow, suffering in the world. The other thing is the cruel heart which causes these things. So, the hearts which were filled with ego, anger, greed, etc., they are cruel hearts. 
they cannot have mercy, they can only cause sorrow and suffering. Now the Brahmins have got hearts which are full of virtues, not ego but humility, and not greed, getting but giving, not anger but uh, mercy. So therefore, we emerge our pure qualities of giving, serving, because that will give us lot of satisfaction. Just as you give something to the other, you get satisfaction. It's a service. One is physical service, this is a much deeper mental service where nobody can reach because service through the mouth you can only do if the other person wants to listen. If somebody turns his back, you say, I want to give you God in all it. He says, no, I am going away, you can't give. But this one, it is intravenous, it reaches the person even if he wants or doesn't want. So it can penetrate. So that way also it is very powerful. So we can sit for two minutes and let us, if all of us do this, there will be a lot of fragrance in the world. Let us try.